This video was made possible by you. If you want to save time and support what I do, check the link in the description that will take you to my store where you can purchase the source file for what we're creating in this video, as well as other tutorials on my channel. Thank you for your support and let's get back to the video. Hi everyone and welcome back to designing a website in Figma. And here's a problem, right? So some of you might remember this video from more than two years ago now, where we set up a drop down functionality on our website header. So you could hover over this element and you would get the drop down menu that you could use then to navigate across the page. You could use that to go to blog, case studies and press. But as I was auditing this file as of now, I found out that this actually doesn't work. When I inspected what is the problem actually when I went to prototype, I also saw this notification, old state management in use. Since more than two years ago a lot of updates have happened in Figma and I thought that in this video we might take a look at this, try and fix it and basically find out what's the problem, right? And as I said at the beginning of the video, if you'd like to download a source file for all of this, make sure to check the link in the description that will take you to my store. I think the problem is that we are using the wrong version of the dropdown. So if I, if you take a look here, header underscore old, whereas here we have header underscore responsive. And I think we need to swap these because when you go to the source component, it's actually in the trash from the cleanup that we did in the last episode. So let me just create an instance of this component, do command X and then select this and command shift R and then make it larger so that it touches the edges of the container. And now if I go to the prototype, let me try again and you can see that it is working now and the navigation is actually working as intended. However, on other pages, there appears to be still the old headers. So why don't we fix it by just selecting all of these desktop headers, right? Selecting all of these and then do Command Shift R. And this should replace all the headers on all the pages which it now did and that's awesome but we just need to fix the widths of these so why don't i select all of these again so all of these again select and then do 1440 all right so that is 1440 and now the navigation should actually work everywhere as intended. Now, if you take a look here, you can see that there is some type of a problem. It says old state management in use. I'm just going to update that and it appears that there is no problem now. We also have old state management here and old state management here. I don't know if that does any changes, but let's just click on updates everywhere regarding menu, the header menu, so that we have the new state management in place. Again, no idea what that, what are the implications of that now, but let's just keep it updated. And now let's think about one more thing that I would like to see. What if this drop down menu closed whenever we moved outside with our mouse? Is that actually possible? So let me go again to the resources drop down. Let's go to prototype. Let's select this and with interactions, let's do mouse leave and we do close overlay, right? Let's try what happens if we do that. So I hover over the menu, over the drop down, and then I move outside with my mouse. That was easier than expected, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this. So this is a very nice upgrade. I think this enables us to also do multi-level drop-down menus which we might take a look at in the upcoming episodes stay tuned so yeah if you if you take a look now if I use this navigation as you normally would and you can see that on all the pages we got this interaction where if you hover over the button you get the overlay but at the same time when the mouse leaves this area it's gonna get closed, which is excellent. Now, one final touch to improve this drop-down menu. I think we are missing a enabled state for this. Let's take a look what's happening here exactly. So for some reason, when I take a look at the prototype under this button, you can see that we have the overlay interaction set up. But we also have the variant interaction, which is while hovering, change to hover, type drop down parent. I don't know why that isn't happening, because when I looked here, 
can see that it is clearly defined here. So why don't I try reset the, the component? Why don't I try reset reset the component, reset interactions. Is that gonna work now? Okay, something changed, but I don't think that's the change that we want. I think when we hover now, we change instantly to this state. Ah, okay, so this is the interaction that we wanna delete actually. So let me delete this interaction because it was sending us from hover here to here and then immediately here. So why don't I try again? Okay, now this is reacting as I would expect. Maybe I am gonna rotate this so that we can do, in this case, we could do smart animate, which would then make it look like this, right? And then we probably need to set up the interaction again. So let's go to resources again, connect that to the resources drop down frame, and let's do mouse action is going to be open overlay, resources drop down, position manual and we're gonna have to position this manually as the interaction suggests so that it's right here and now let's take a look again so as you can see for some reason this mouse enter interaction is blocking out the second state of this button the only thing that remains is to think of a workaround so why don't i think of a workaround what would the workaround be we could take the hover state of this I selected this button, then pressed option and clicked and dragged. We could keep this state as a hover state separately. Let me remove this interaction and we could actually make this a part of, of the overlay. So why don't I put this inside of the frame, right? So command X, select this overlay, command V, accept this is going to be absolute position. I'm going to move it outside of the frame over here and then also disable clip content. This is going to mess up our shadow, but I'm just going to reduce the opacity of the shadow, okay? And I am going to position this button somewhere around here. So now if we do hover, on this, you can see that we got this resources button on the top appearing and when we hover outside, it's gonna remove, it's gonna disappear the whole overlay along with the button. So now we need to probably, we need to do one more thing, two more things actually. We need to make sure that this is actually aligned to the left of the frame. So I selected this button and press option A and then we also need to add a fill that is going to basically hide whatever is behind this element and then also remove the bottom left and bottom right corner rounding so that we get this right and now let's take a look at the result and I think this is pretty good I think this is pretty good even though we didn't manage to make this button do what we want we used a workaround right so we simply showed the button as a part of the overlay and therefore it appears as if this button is actually changing states and you know what actually i think this is even better i think the shadow now nicely creates like an additional part of this overlay i think this is pretty good i think this is a solution that i'm happy with i hope that you're happy with that too so yeah I think let's go, let's go with this. Let's go with this actually. And let's see what that's gonna feel like in the overall interactions. But yep. All right, so if you'd like to support the channel and get the source file for this website, for all of this, for what we have created today and all of this, check the link in the description that will take you to my store. Let me just arrange this and then we're done here. Awesome. So that's it for today's episode. As you can see, it's all about the workarounds. That's all there is to it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.